friends. I know it's been a while since I graced you with my drunken filmed presence on the internet. There's been a lot going on, questioning my life choices. I've been drinking a lot of bottles of champagne. And I'm pretty, pretty lazy. Champagne helps. And the life choice questioning. But something's come into my life recently that I think all of you should know about. It combines some of my favorite things. America. And dieting. From Cashton bought this book for one only one dollar can you believe it one dollar in the basement of a sketchy club in st. Paul Minnesota the I heart America diet and I it wasn't called that back in the day but that's how we would say it now because the hearts on the internet like this and with the little carrot guy and like a three whatever you know how it goes the I Heart America diet and I are the same age. We have a lot in common. Phyllis George is a pretty blonde lady, which something I, I think I might be able to relate to. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, just thought that I'd bring this to your attention because um, I am hoping to make um, some check ins with the I Heart America Diet to be a regular thing on the blog. Um, I think that this could benefit you, me, our entire country. It's social fabric. Why is a country always fabric? What's the deal with textiles and holding people together? Just like bricks and mortar aren't good enough for you now? Anyway, the main author, this pretty white lady here, Phyllis George. Phyllis George uh, is a former Miss Texas and Miss America. Yes, Miss America. Not only is she pretty and skinny, but she like won a fucking contest and wore a tiara and a sash thingy for like a whole year in, um, wait, oh, 1971. Mm-hmm. After her tenure as the uh, first lady of hotness in the USA, um, she became a lady sportscaster. Can you believe that, ladies and sports? What? Yeah, seriously. And then for her second marriage, uh, she got married to some guy whose name I didn't write down here, but he's the governor of Kentucky. So, former beauty queen slash first lady of Kentucky equals uh, basically the world's greatest health expert. Which is why I really consider her um, the person I want to turn to for my most patriotic diet needs. But I thought that um, I would give you some key passages from the introduction. <sighs> because my friend Will, he thought that it would be a good idea for me to possibly try and make some of the diet recipes from this book for patriotic reasons. Obvs. This lady doesn't need to go on a diet. Hello, have you seen me on the internet in this video? My nose is skinny. Anyway. But I might make some of the recipes and make my friends eat them. It would be really funny if I got it on, like, webcam. As 
like 17 pages of recommendations for people like Pat Robertson, Willard Scott. Again, Ed McMahon, Linda Carter with a Y. So let's just pretend that I have like big hair and it's the early 80s and I'm from Texas and I'm very enthusiastic. Hello. I'm Phyllis George Brown. I'm a career woman, a mother, and the wife of Governor John Y. Brown Jr. of Kentucky. I created this book with Bill Adler because I wanted to bring you information from United States government agents from United States government agencies that could change your life for the better. It's information about being slim, most important, and energetic. About being healthy and fit, about looking wonderful and feeling terrific. This is not just a diet. It's a complete health program for choosing nutritious foods, adopting new slimming eating habits, and enjoying workouts that shape your body while boosting your stamina and vitality. Yeah. You can do it on the I Love America diet. The very best time to start on it is today. You'll be giving yourself a gift. This is a gift that could last. Now, doesn't that sound both slim and patriotic? Yeah. That is but the first of hopefully many, many installments from the land of the I Heart America Diet by Phyllis George and that other guy who we will ignore. Stay skinny, America. It's the least you can do for the founding fathers.